Today we're doing something different. We're going trolling for crappie. We're going to use crankbaits and we're going to troll out the, out the back of the kicking bass pontoon. And we're going with Doug Wynn, local taxidermist here in Benton, Kentucky, who's quite an authority on this type of fishing. Uh, Doug, tell us a little bit. We're gonna, I know we're going to be doing some trolling with uh, Bandit 300s today and uh, I've been hearing a lot of good things about that type of method. We'll be using 200s and 300s. Uh, we're targeting the um, suspended bait balls, uh, shad schools and stuff. Uh, we'll typically be just off of the secondary drops. Uh, don't want to be running uh, eight or ten bandits up on top of a drop where the stumps and the uh, <laughs> stake, stake beds. Uh, yeah, they, it gets expensive. I real take it quick. you've lost one before. I've lost several. <laughs> yeah. Eric, this is our kind of fishing, buddy. <laughs> There's nothing that's bad kind of fishing, you know. <laughs> oh yeah. You know, we put in a King Creek Resort today at the marina. They got everything you need there from gas to camping and just a good place, a good location to put in there. And we didn't motor out too far and start catching those crappies. Doug, we're trolling at, at 1.8 to 2. Okay, that's GPS. great. Yes. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drop down to about 1.8 on a cruise. And, uh, we're in 28 feet of water. Yeah. <laughs> Get lined up, then, yep. then head over. I got you. So you so you get all the rods out, get them all the proper depth, then you then I'll go ahead and start making my making your run. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's important. You want to do that ahead of time before you get to where you're going to fish. Yeah, there's too much going on at one time if you uh, try to get everything out at once. Now you know I I troll a lot by myself and. <laughs> Running eight rods, it can be, it can be uh, exciting. How long you been doing this? Uh, four or five years. You know, normally you're, the fish that you catch doing this, you're not gonna have to worry about measuring them either. You know, yeah. they're gonna, uh, and we will catch a that lot of That sounds like music to my ears. Yeah, <laughs> that's a fact. We hook a fish, just all you gotta do is just sweep the rod and then be easy with it. If you if you reel so fast that that fish gets to tumbling, It'll you're gonna you're gonna pull them loose. Yeah. Yep. Uh, it's hot. It's muggy. Uh, the lake is down. The water has uh, got some color to it. We don't have a lot of wind. It's overcast. The solar lunar tables look favorable. I don't know. I think we might have hit it on a nickel this time. Let's hope. Keep our fingers crossed anyway. You got a fish on right there. There you go. This is bouncing. And yep. Beautiful, beautiful day today. We thought it was going to get hot, but just enough breeze and just enough overcast kind of gave it a little haze. Just a beautiful time on the water. I think it's a crappie. Maybe a yellow. It's a yellow, I think. We're filming right there on that thing. Now we talked about the whole time, crappie, but these yellows, they're aggressive. Yeah, they'll take on a bait almost the same size that they are. Yeah. Word of warning, if you're not oh, using these things, they've got uh, a gill plate that will fetch you like a razor. Yeah. And their top fins will get you too. Just came over a great bait ball. Yeah. Save some cash on our new Polaris from Polaris of Benton with the best deals possible on the number one ATVs and side-by-sides in the industry. I'm Melissa with Polaris of Benton and we would like the opportunity to earn your business right here in Benton, Kentucky. We have a huge inventory on hand so whether you want to work hard or play hard, we are sure to have the Polaris for you and we even install your accessories for free. Whether it's sales, service, parts or accessories, we have what you need right here in Benton, Kentucky at Polaris of Benton. Come check us out. Bee Spring Lodge is located on beautiful Kentucky Lake. 
Built in 1954 as a fisherman's camp, there's every pleasure for the fishermen here. We have motel rooms, campgrounds, cottages, a dock, and a wonderful restaurant that serves breakfast and lunch from 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. every day but Tuesday. Come visit. You can call us at 1-800-732-0088 and make your reservations today. B Spring Lodge, the friendliest resort on Kentucky Lake. No day on Kentucky Lake starts without a stop at Bassett Gas. Stock up on gear from St. Croix, Shimano, Strike King, Strand, Zoom, and much more. You can stock your boat, too, with the latest in electronics from Lawrence, Hummingbird, Mencota, and others. While you're there, be sure to stock your cooler for the day on the lake with soft drinks, snacks, and ice. And you can fill up with ethanol-free gas. Bass and Gas, located three miles east of Draftonville on Highway 68. You know, Eric, if you had better insurance, we wouldn't have to fish out of my boat all the time and you wouldn't be sitting there high and dry on that dock. Oh yeah, well, who do you use? Our Bargy Insurance Company in Benton, Kentucky. They offer auto, home, life, and health, and commercial insurance all at competitive rates. You know, I think I'm going to give them a call today. Why don't you do that? I'm going to go fishing. Thanks. Appreciate it. Don't be left high and dry. For all your insurance needs, contact Ray Bargy and Company. Hey, Randy. Thanks for the tip. REMAX Real Estate Associates is a full-service real estate brokerage serving the Kentucky Lake area and all of western Kentucky. We have 16 agents with over 200 years of combined real estate experience to help you find your Kentucky Lake dream home. We also offer commercial, farm, and property management real estate brokerage. So stop by and see us at 803 Main Street in Benton or give us a call at 270-527-8035. Outstanding agents, outstanding results. Well, of course, I caught the first and Randy caught the biggest. But Randy kind of beat us all with that, you know, with the catfish that I know is still in that live well. Right here, right here. Randy, right here. Yeah, you got, you got a fish going right here, Randy. Is he on? Yep. That's a pretty good little fish here. Fish yeah. on. Good fish. Here, I guess we want to try to get him over here, huh, Doug? Where you get him? Right. Yeah, if you can clear the lines as much as possible, let's, let's deal with a high bit golden line. Oh, yeah, he's putting up a pretty good little fight. Now, when they normally are staying down like this, Doug, instead of coming up, does that... Any indication of the size of the fish? <laughs> well, the size plus the species, chances are you're looking at a drum or a cat. Oh, um, now if it's a drum, this is Eric's fish. <laughs> <laughs> He's a drum king. I am the drum king. He's you ask drum, my buddies. He's the drum king. I wish we had a drum tournament. I'd win every dang one of them. <laughs> but you know, he never complains about catching the drum. I don't complain about catching anything. Maybe long, a cold. Long, 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 long. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That is a oh, cat. It feels it? like a cat to me. Yeah, boy. it is a cat. There you go. Get up there. There we go. Good eater right there, buddy. Bring him to you. You ready? Very good, sir. All right. It's about good. I'll let you get him off. There's, yeah, there's a pair of flyers right there, Doug. Right there. And okay. There we go. Thank you, Eric. I really appreciate that, buddy. <laughs> you got it? Oh, okay, just the other color. Clear? Got it? Good Very job, good, man. sir. Short that camera up. Oh. They're very slippery. I think that poor thing, we dropped it half a dozen times trying to get it to the live well. I think even the cameraman got slimed there a time or two. That's why uh, you, you know gotta what? have a good grip on a captain. Randy, I saw that. He did that on purpose to get your chair slimy. I know he did it. He said, I heard y'all. I heard y'all. Yeah, we were, we were plotting that for a while. I heard y'all conspiring. There we go. Here. 
Yeah, that rod right there. Right here? That line yeah. is riding, is yep. riding high. It is, I believe it. Dad's fish on it. Well, here I am, can't fish it. Yeah, I've got a catfish in my hand. Let me have that a pair of scissors there, Doug. Stay right there. Go. And what would, what would we do if we had more than one rod go? <laughs> Crappie? No, I believe it's another species. It's a sauger. It's a sauger. <laughs> hey, this is one thing we have not caught this year on Feeling Real. And you want to talk about good eating. But he has to be 14 inches long. 14 inches so. long. He ain't going to make it. He ain't nope. going to make it. Yeah, the one of the things interesting when you troll, you could catch anything. And today, you know, we didn't catch any drum. We didn't catch any, uh, you know, big whites. or But we did catch a catfish. We caught some yellows. We caught some white bass. Uh, I caught a sauger, uh, which is one of the best eating fish, but it wasn't quite measured enough. They got to be 14 inches, and he was probably about 12 and a half. Story of my life, but that's okay. It was fun to catch. Where do I need to put this fish? We got a fish on right here. Oh, Lord have mercy. You gonna reel one we in? Got, we got a fish on right, right where? Right there. Here? No. This one right here? Thank you. King Creek Resort and Marina on beautiful Kentucky Lake. Welcome to Whispering Oaks. It's the perfect destination for a romantic getaway or a family or fishing adventure. Children can enjoy swimming and playing on our sandy beach or have fun at our playground, while parents can enjoy the gentle breezes at our lakeside pavilion. Go fishing from our dock or take advantage of our boat rentals. We sell fishing license and we have bait on site. Come and treat yourself or your whole family to a relaxing getaway at Whispering Oaks. 11 acres of peace and quiet. Remax Real Estate Associates is a full-service real estate brokerage serving the Kentucky Lake area and all of western Kentucky. We have 16 agents with over 200 years of combined real estate experience to help you find your Kentucky Lake dream home. We also offer commercial, farm, and property management real estate brokerage. So stop by and see us at 803 Main Street in Benton or give us a call at 270-527-8035. Outstanding agents, outstanding results. No day on Kentucky Lake starts without a stop at Bassett Gas. Stock up on gear from St. Croix, Shimano, Strike King, Strand, Zoom, and much more. You can stock your boat, too, with the latest in electronics from Lawrence, Hummingbird, Mencota, and others. While you're there, be sure to stock your cooler for the day on the lake with soft drinks, snacks, and ice. And you can fill up with ethanol-free gas, Bass and Gas, located three miles east of Trappenville on Highway 68.
You know, we had a, I think we had maybe one or two times that, that when we had a fish on that we got tangled. Let's see, which way you want to try and bring him? Uh, well, I've got to try to get this loose so I can figure out which... That's uh, what happened, that crappie getting tangled the lines. One of the interesting things that happened today, he caught a fish and it was wrapped between two lines. But we never stopped, we kept on going, and he would do this, and he'd turn, and, and he'd, re, you know, Doug would get that fish all the way up, and he untied the line without, we didn't have to reel in any other rod, which I thought was really interesting, but obviously he's done it quite a few times. Well, you know, that's kind of the hazard of the profession, but, you know, hey. It's a good problem to yeah, have. Yeah, he's on right it is. <laughs> okay. That's, good. that's a good crappie, too. Yeah. My dentist doesn't appreciate this, but. I got some, you want, I got no. scissors right here. What I'm doing, I. I'm clearing. I'm clearing the line. Okay, are you going? You going to try to raise him up and drag him across this one right here? I mean, the key today was that ultra high vis line because, man, without it, you couldn't see. When you catch a fish, sometimes the line would cross, and but you know you can always keep your lines right where we're at. It's easier to detect the bite, and uh, the monofilament gives it some stretch. So we all know that crappie have the kind of those paper mouths. So you really can't horse them in with that monofilament with the stretch. It doesn't pull the hooks out. I just got to figure out which which, uh, rod which rod he's on. I got it. I can hold he's, it. He's, he's on this out. one. Is he? Uh, right, I got the line. You want to go ahead and reel it up? Uh, there's, I got one here. You got one here, yeah. too. You got okay. it? Yeah. All right. So where are you bringing him, Gus? Drop okay. it down there. Let me... You got one on? Yeah. Okay. Go over I've got a crankbait in my hand I want to get rid of. Another <laughs> what a problem to have. I think there's another, I think there's one on this other rod here too. Let's see here. I'll just get him, we'll worry about it later. How yep. about that? That's good. All right, bring him on in. All right, got him. I got it. Let's do a right. double here now. <laughs> All right. I don't care what time of year those, those are good cropping. There we go. <laughs> Do we? Okay. I'm just going to stand you here. where we hooked those fish? Right in the turn? Of we were on the turn yeah. and we're in 25 feet of water. I think the way Doug approached it and he he had the boat positioned, we actually weren't fishing on a ledge. We were fishing off of a ledge, fishing for suspended fish. Wow. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, that's pretty Okay, you want to see the fish right there? Try to get this net clear. Okay, like I said, you know, those aren't huge fish, but we're not even having to check them. Uh, they're definitely decent keepers. That's also one of the hazards of making a making a turn, even a sweeping turn. Occasionally, uh, okay, so you're going to tangle your lines up. You just have to deal with them. And there's a 13 inch. The little one was a 13 inch, Doug. One thing about fishing uh, and doing this technique like this, it didn't seem to be like we caught a lot of small fish. Actually, I don't think we caught any small fish. I don't think we had any on the crappie. We didn't have a fish that wasn't a keeper today. Uh, again, I can't overemphasize you telling everybody about the high vis line. It is a absolute oh, must. I don't know how you could do that. You know, I'm, I'm thinking about the long line trolling we do for crappie. Right. I'm not so sure that that wouldn't be a good, uh, I a use good application the exact same, for that. Do you? I use a six pound uh, test, but I'm using the exact same line, the, uh, the high visibility yellow. A lot of people will try to argue with you that it spooks fish and all. Uh, they're not going to. You hadn't seen it, huh? You know, Eric, if you had better insurance, we wouldn't have to fish out of my boat all the time and you wouldn't be sitting there high and dry on that dock. Well, yeah, well, who do you use? Our Bargy Insurance Company in Benton, Kentucky. They offer auto, home, life, and health and commercial insurance all at competitive rates. You know, I think I'm going to give them a call today. Why don't you do that? I'm going to go fishing. Thanks. Appreciate it. Don't be left high and dry. For all your insurance needs, contact Ray Bargy and Company. Hey, Randy. Thanks for the tip.
Bee Spring Lodge is located on beautiful Kentucky Lake. Built in 1954 as a fisherman's camp, there's every pleasure for the fishermen here. We have motel rooms, campgrounds, cottages, a dock, and a wonderful restaurant that serves breakfast and lunch from 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. every day but Tuesday. Come visit. You can call us at 1-800-732-0088 and make your reservations today. Bee Spring Lodge, the friendliest resort on Kentucky Lake. Save some cash on our new Polaris from Polaris of Benton with the best deals possible on the number one ATVs and side-by-sides in the industry. I'm Melissa with Polaris of Benton, and we would like the opportunity to earn your business right here in Benton, Kentucky. We have a huge inventory on hand, so whether you want to work hard or play hard, we are sure to have the Polaris for you, and we even install your accessories for free. Whether it's sales, service, parts, or accessories, we have what you need right here in Benton, Kentucky at Polaris of Benton. Come check us out. Creek Resort and Marina on beautiful Kentucky Lake. Randy and I want to do something different and uh, you know we've talked about it all year different things and you know it's in August now it's the latter part of August and he called and says what do you think about trolling for crappie and I'll be honest I was a little skeptical I'm like trolling for crappie you know first of all I've never heard of it on Kentucky Lake number two you know it's, it's the third week of August what what good show do you think you can come up with and boy I tell you what, Doug put us on it today. There was, there's an art and a science to what he did, and, and really enjoyed it. And not only that, but I learned a lot today. You got a fish, don't you? Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out which way to go with it. Cropping? I can't tell right now. I'm just trying to figure out how to keep from getting hung up. He's all trying to get him to yeah, surf. We've got this turn going now, yeah. too. But uh, he's up on top, more like a crappie would be. Yeah. But it's a good one if it's a crappie. There we go. There we go. Yeah, that's that's a good fish. There we go. He hit that right when we made the turn, Doug. Yeah. I mean, just right, just like we did a while ago, actually. Yeah, that's what I said. We now may, you have notice to, I, may have to I'm start doing going in circles. I'm taking the fish off one hey, here. This, hey, this, you know what? Oh, what can I say, man? You ought to take care of me. That ain't nothing new. <laughs> yeah, I think Somebody has to take care of me. I, I think it's the other way around. Now hurry up. Hurry up and get this bait out of there for me. <laughs> See, he look how good that was. Hey, man, let me tell you, it's all in how you bring the fish in, brother. Remember that. Now, this is a lot of fun. Uh, trolling with those banded crankbaits is a lot of fun. I mean, you can guarantee you're going to catch something. You know, something I was thinking about, uh, when you troll, the speed that you try to maintain, I mean, is it, is it any different than... Uh, uh, with water temperature, or so it's all basically pretty much the same. Pretty much the same because I'm not going to start doing this until the water temperature's up high 70s, up into the 80s. So that, those fish are going to be they're going to be in chase mode. You know that's not going to be a factor. Uh, mainly that 1.7, 1.8 is optimum speed for for these 200, 300 bandits. It was the first time that I have uh, fished it that way and. Uh, and Doug really, he really showed us how uh, to do it, you know. I think Eric and I both had a really great time. Let me... Oh, there's change. fish here. Change. You got it? Yeah. All right. Well, I don't know if fish or not. Something is coming up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Good little fish yeah, right here now. 
anybody can do this. I mean, obviously Randy's boat is set up perfectly to do this. You notice we're heading south and we have not, we've not caught a fish. Oh yeah, I picked up on that. Uh oh, yeah. spoke too soon. Boy, if that's a fish, one, that's a good one there. There's another one out there too in that. Which one? I believe it's a crappie. It's a good one. That's a bass. You said, said we got one on? It's a bass, I think. I don't know. It may be a crappie. There's a lot of the that's big a, No, a that's a crappie. crappie. That's a big crappie. Yeah, a lot of the big crappie will flop. Got him going, guys. Mm, that's all right. You got that double on there. It's free. You know, bring it right in here like that. Yeah. You'd like to see that big mouth. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. yeah. You just better get them on top, you just keep them going. It's pretty good like fish here. Just, just keep the tension on, just keep him coming straight to the net. Good deal. Now that, Mr. Forster, is how it's done, sir. Very good. I'm not sure how many crappie we caught. I'd say we caught probably close to 20 maybe. And we caught some nice crappie. We really did. You know, anytime you can do that, of course, that makes for a great day. That's pretty good fish no, right good. there. I'm good. I'm just... I'm just coming right straight up that other line. But, uh, it seems like every time today that we've had there lines to up. Did you get bit? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it seems like it, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. Well, there's got some sides to him. Oh, yeah. That was your color you liked, Derek. Nice white crappie. Looks like you like crappie. Yeah, another fish. Yeah, there's one on this one. Right. This feels like another good one. Take, take it easy. If he goes to bouncing, a lot of times they'll go to tumbling. He get, he's getting excited, Doug. I uh, know. Calm down there, boss. All right. Hoss, hoss. All right, I'm gonna take him right. Bring it right here through the middle. Ooh. Oh, he's still oh, okay. coming over here now. Believe that or not, that's a, that's a yellow foul hook. So is that a bluegill? That's a crop. I thought it was too. I was going to say. I thought it was a bluegill at first. Overall, it, it, I'll tell you, it was a blast. Well, that's a good fish there, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Poor Rich. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to me, Cubs. That's a good fish. Keep it coming. Starting to mount up in there. Yeah, they are. Another good one. I plan on doing this again. I really do. It's, I think we had a great time. Now, Doug, if you see a, a you know white TR22 Triton out here, you know what's you know. <laughs> Guys, I lay no claim to this technique or to these spots. Hey, what's that? Is that a hammerless 38 I see in your side pocket? Though? I've usually got a nine millimeter. <laughs> That's a hint.